Hello, in this video we're going to look at bias in the consumer price index. So the CPI, the consumer price index, is not a perfect measure of cost of living. We're going to show that it overstates inflation. There are four biases inherent in the consumer price index. The first bias is the substitution bias. The CPI assumes consumers continue buying the same quantity of each good, that is the fixed quantities that make up the fixed market basket, month after month despite price increases. This bias overstates the true cost of living. Microeconomics tells us consumers will substitute away from a good whose relative price has risen, shielding consumers from some of the harm of the price increase. Bias two is the arrival or introduction of new goods. New products are not immediately captured in the consumer price index. When the good is not available for purchase because it hasn't been developed yet, it is as if the price is infinite. No one can afford to buy it. Once the good is available, its price has fallen from infinite to some nominal value. Moreover, the price of many new goods, for example, consumer electronics, fall considerably in the early months of their arrival, and this is not captured in the CPI. The market basket of goods comprising the CPI is updated roughly every two years. Quality of goods and services bias. Many goods will improve in quality over time. Spending $500 on a smartphone today will get you a much better smartphone than spending $500 on a smartphone, say, five years ago. So the quality adjusted price for some goods will fall over time. The CPI attempts to adjust for quality changes, but most economists argue that it is difficult to fully capture quality improvements. And the final and fourth bias is outlet bias. The B Bureau of Labor Statistics, which collects data on constructing the consumer price index, uh, mostly collects its price data from traditional supermarkets and department stores. Many consumers shop at large discount stores, Costco, BJ's, internet stores, whose lower prices are underrepresented in the consumer price index. Overall, then, or in summary, uh, economists estimate that the CPI overstates inflation by 0 0.5 percentage point to 1 percentage point. So, for example, if the CPI reports inflation at 2.5 percent, the true inflation rate is between 1.5 and 2 percent, sub subtracting from this 2.5 either 0.5 or as much as 1 percentage point from it gives you the ballpark of what the actual inflation rate is running. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.